Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you why you should be using 1Password. So 1Password is one of my must-have Mac tools. It stores all of my online passwords in an encrypted file and allows me to use them as I go to those different websites. Let me give you the reasons why you really should have this. So once you've installed 1Password you have this 1Password button here and other browsers you have similar things. And say I'm going to sign into a website. I'm going to use the sample Twitter account to sign into Twitter. I'll enter my password. I'll hit sign in. Uh, I want to tell uh, Safari not to use autofill here because I'm going to use 1Password instead. And you see I've signed in now and now it says you want to save this twitter.com login and one password. So it automatically recognizes that I've entered something in it doesn't know about and it asks if I want to save it. I don't have to actually go to one password and enter this in separately. I'm going to save it as Twitter and then want to sign back in. I can go to the one password button, hit fill and submit Twitter, and you can see it automatically put in my username and password in there and I've signed in. So the important thing that happened there is I was able to sign into Twitter without having to type my username and password because it was stored in one password in an encrypted file. I had previously entered in my one password password to give me access to all that data so it doesn't ask me for that specific password. This allows me to create a secure password for Twitter, a different one for Facebook, a different one for any service that I sign up for online. So without one password I would have to retype all of those passwords all the time which means I'd probably want to keep them short and something I can remember and perhaps reuse passwords across different accounts which makes them all less secure. And Say I want to do a new password. I can use 1Password for that as well. Use the strong password generator here and it will give me options for a strong password. I can even make it pronounceable if I wanted to or change the number of random digits and symbols in there. Now 1Password is storing those securely in a file. It's an encrypted file. So unless you've entered your 1Password password to get into that you can't get into it. Somebody else takes that file they can't use it at all. The important thing here is that a lot of people store their passwords so they remember them say in a text file or some other file that's easily accessible if somebody were to steal or get access to your computer. 1Password takes care of that problem by encrypting that data. Now inside of 1Password you can see in addition to logins you've got a wallet and you could add something like a credit card or bank account to that wallet and put all your credit card information here. So it stores it in that encrypted file and allows you to enter it in to a payment page on a website. The reason this is great is because you don't have to remember those credit card numbers or pull it out of your wallet but also if a website asks you would you like me to store your credit card number for future use you can say no thanks knowing that you can easily enter it in again using 1Password instead of having them store it on their server where it could be compromised. Now one of the most important things that 1Password does is it protects you from phishing attacks. So for instance say you get an email for great bargains at a shopping site you go to all the time. Click on the link and it says oh enter in your password for this shopping site. Well 1Password will not let you enter in that password if it's the wrong site. For instance let's take Twitter for example. I'm here at twitter.com on the login page. I go to 1Password and there's fill and submit Twitter. Now suppose I wasn't at twitter.com. Suppose I was tricked by an email to go to twitter.com dot bad hacker site dot com. Now you could see how if I got this in an email and I glanced at my address bar I would see twitter.com and think I'm at the right place. I'm in fact at this domain with this being the subdomain. So I'm being tricked into going to the wrong website. They may have even designed the site to look exactly like the shopping site I want to go to. But now if I were to click on 1Password it would not come up with anything because it doesn't have a stored password for badhackersite.com. So it prevents me from entering in my Twitter password into a site that's not twitter.com. I also like that in addition to credit cards, banking information, logins, other accounts you can also enter in identities. So you can enter in your address and information like that. So when you're asked to fill out a form and you don't want to enter all that stuff in again you can simply have one password to fill it all in. Also important are secure notes. So you can enter in data that doesn't have any other category for it to fit into. Like for instance maybe the combination to a padlock or to a safe or which number uh, security box you have at the bank. You can put that all there in freeform notes. You can even attach small files and it will all be encrypted 
Now 1Password isn't the only program that works like this. There are also other ones. LastPass for instance is very popular as well. So I urge everyone to get better online security by using 1Password or a program like it. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.